students struggle with these questions and actually many non-students struggle to understand tax too. The good news is that these tables are usually much simpler than completing a tax return and much more fun. Over the next several minutes we will cover how to read tax calculation tables and how to answer the different question types that relate to these tables. What on earth is a tax table? I hear you shout. It looks something like this. The two columns represent the income earned and the tax rate that can be applied in this income. If you earn between zero and £12,000, you're not eligible to be taxed. If you earn between £12,000 and £45,000, your tax rate will be 20%. Between £45,000 and £150,000, your tax rate will be 40%. And those who earn above £150,000 will pay a tax rate of 45%. Let's get right into it by trying a straightforward tax table question you can expect in every UCAT exam. Question 1. Donald has an annual income of £33,000. Using the table, what is the annual income tax he must pay? The important thing to know about tax is that you only pay the rates for the amount of income that sits in that rate bracket. Sounds complicated, so let's go through this question together and hopefully all will become clear. Your first job is to identify which category Donald's earning of £33,000 a year puts him in. For this tax table, we can see that he is in the £12,000 to £45,000 category or bracket. This means that he will have to pay 20% tax on his income over the lower limit of the bracket, which is £12,000. So how far into the bracket is he? To calculate this, subtract £12,000 from £33,000, which gives us £21,000. So £21,000 of his income is in this 20% tax bracket. To so find 20% of £21,000, multiply by 0.2, which gives us 4,200. So the answer is B. He pays 4,200 pounds in tax on that 21,000 pounds. So that deals with the 21,000 pounds of Donald's income in this bracket. But what about his first 12,000 pounds? He must pay the full amount of tax for all his income that falls into lower brackets. The rest of his income falls into the first category, which is a tax rate of 0%. Donald pays 0% tax on this amount, so this total tax is therefore the £4,200 we have already calculated. Here is another example for you to try. This question would take most people a bit longer than the ones we have tried so far, so you will really be tested to see if you can keep it to the 40 seconds. Question 2. Rima has an annual income of £175,000. Using the table, what is the annual income tax she must pay? This income falls into the £150,000 plus category, but by how much? £175,000 minus £150,000 leaves £25,000, so £25,000 of her income is taxed at 45%. 25000 times 0.45 is 11250 
Remember though, she must pay the full amount of tax for all her income that falls into each of the lower brackets. This is simpler than it sounds. Just work out the difference, for example, between 45,000 and 150,000, which equals 105,000 pounds. This is how much of her income falls into 40% brackets. Um, 105,000 times 0.4 is 42,000 pounds more tax to pay. Use the same technique for her income between 12,000 and 45,000. 45,000 minus 12,000 equals 33,000. 33,000 times 0.2 is 6,600. Her first 12,000 of income fell into the 0% tax bracket, so she pays 0% income tax on it. To get the total amount, add the tax owed from each bracket. 11,250 plus 42,000 plus 6,600 equals a total of 59,850 income tax. You now have the tools you need under such tax table calculations. In summary, spot the category or bracket that income fits in, calculate how much the income is within that bracket, find the relative percentage of that amount depending on the tax rate, calculate the full amount of the tax for all the brackets beneath that income level, and finally add them all together for the total tax payable. Use the five steps approach we have just learned to tackle the next question and be attentive. A bit tougher these questions, but quick to do if you've been following this video closely. For question 3, profits of $750,000 fall into the 500000 to 3 million bracket. By how much? 750000 minus the lower limit of 500000 gives 250000 This $250,000 is taxed at 30%, meaning tax of $75,000 for this portion of the profit. Remember, we pay the full amount of all the lower tax categories. The 200,000 to 500,000 category represents 300,000 of profit, because 500,000 minus 200,000 equals 300,000. This 300,000 is taxed at 25%. 300,000 times 0.25 gives 75,000. That's another $75,000 of tax for this portion of Iron Corporation's profit. The lowest tax category that must be paid is the 0 to 200,000 category. This represents 200,000 of profit taxed at 10%. 200,000 times 0.1 gives 20,000. So another $20,000 of tax. Adding these up gives $75,000 plus $75,000 plus $20,000, which equals a total of $170,000 of corporate profit tax. This matches answer choice B, so it must be right, right? Wrong. Don't forget the surcharge. The writing beneath the table indicates that if a corporation is not registered in country X, they must pay a processing surcharge of $15,000. Don't get an answer wrong for so small a detail. Always remember to check any additional information around the table or graph. $170,000 plus $15,000 gives us our correct answer of $185,000 owed answer choice C. Here is a little challenge for you to end this lesson in style. For question 4, they have reversed the normal question, but don't be worried. Start with the lower tax category. 
If Steel Corp paid the full amount of tax for the 0 to 200,000 category, that would be 200,000 times 0.1, which is 20,000. But Steel Corp paid $30,000 in tax, so $10,000 more tax than this. Their profits must therefore be somewhere in the 200,000 to 500,000 brackets. But by how much? Well, that extra $10,000 of tax must come from the 25% brackets, meaning that $10,000 equals a 25% tax on a certain amount of profit. Another amazing video of ours covered what to do when an amount equals a percent. Make sure you've watched it for a full explanation. But in short, the secret is this. Do 10,000 divided by 0.25, the decimal form of 25%. 10,000 divided by 0.25 gives 40,000. This means $40,000 of Steel Corp's profits were charged at 25%, giving $10,000 in extra tax. $40,000 on top of a full $200,000 in the lower bracket gives a total of $240,000 corporate profit. The correct answer is therefore option C. Note again how one of the incorrect answers matched the number that we came across in our working, $200,000. We hope this video has turned you into a master of tax tables. If you're still in any doubt, please do re-watch this video, as this question type can really drain your time and morale if you're not familiar with it before the test. A little bit of practice, however, and the tax table questions will become a lot less taxing. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.